What is up, people of the internet? It is me, Real American, back in with a new video, and that is right, we are back with one of these type of videos, a year in review, or state of the channel, I don't know what to call it, but I like to do one of these videos at the end of the year, talking about what's up with the channel, what's up with the future, all that, because I just want to give you guys updates of what's happening. But before I forget, just thank you. From the bottom of my heart, just thank you guys so much. Without you guys, this channel would not exist. Or it probably would, but like, have two subscribers or something. You guys are the reason that we have just a great base. I mean, we have 13,500 subscribers. You know, at the time of this recording, obviously. The, you guys are the reason this channel's growing. This channel is where it's at. Not me, you guys. And I just want to say thank you. There's no word to describe how thankful I am. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to like cry out, obviously, but just like, it's just very, I don't know what the word is, but like, I'm grateful that there are many people that are willing to support a channel like mine. And I just wanted to say thank you before I forgot. And of course, I wouldn't have forgot, but I just want to do it at the start so everybody knows. You guys are the reason this channel is growing, is, I guess you could say, still here. Without you guys, this wouldn't. But alright, I wanted to talk about 2023, because, oh boy, was that a year. And not a bad year, mind you. Yeah, there was election defeats here and there, but this was, in my opinion, the best year I've had on this channel. Not just from an analytical standpoint, which I'm not going to get into the numbers and stuff, but from a my, perspe my, my perspective of this was the best year. Because I had so much fun. I mean, I had fun in past years, don't get me wrong. But after 2022's midterms, which was a disappointment, and a lot of people were dooming at the time that, hey, what's going on here? Is this the state of the country is this over it's well, what's happening here and there were some people questioning their beliefs people were questioning is trump the guy should we go with DeSantis? and there were people that just you know just lost it they were dooming and i kind of had that in the state of the channel last year when i kind of said implied that I, I wanted to do stuff outside of politics and i was a bit burnt out on it looking back at it that was nonsense. <laughs> that was absolute just dooming after the midterms and having the bad feeling of, oh, I was wrong in 2022 for my predictions, which I, I to this day still it doesn't really bug me now, but it still kind of stinks that, you know, which a lot of people had the predictions off, but it just, it still sucks that it didn't go the way we expected. But this year, I got to say, was a great year. I mean, I was expecting to be a slow year. That's why I was talking about, you know, doing more alternate history, which I did some. Some film stuff, which I did some. But that was before, I would say, February or March. When February and March hit, it's been absolutely amazing. And not, not in like a good manner, but amazing on the front of, I am engaged again. I am wanting to do this. I'm not, you know, questioning anything. I'm like, hey, that was just dooming because we had a bad midterm this was no this is what i want to do i want to make content for you guys talking about what's happening because every day it was something new i mean not just small stuff bob menendez stuffing gold bars in a coat george santos existing kevin mccarthy being kevin mccarthy trump announcing desantis collapsing Haley surging the chris christie town halls vivek ramaswamy this year and I should have guessed it because, you know, this is a presidential primary. We should have expected it, but I don't think anyone expected this. The Trump indictments, him being thrown off the ballot, you know, elections just being all over the place. It made absolutely no sense. And that's what I enjoyed about it. I enjoyed this year because there's so much to talk about and just... There's too much, in fact. There was some stuff that I want to make videos on so badly, but I just had to put in the back burner. 
Because every day was breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. I mean, hell, every time I stream, which that's another thing I'm going to get to in a second. It's a meme now. Every time I go live, there's breaking news. I was live when Steve Scalise dropped out. I was live when it just anything happened this year. I was live. And speaking of the streams, I've been doing a lot more of them. Basically, every like four to five times a week. And the reason I did that was, one, there's just so much to talk about that I couldn't contain in videos. And two... You guys just enjoyed them, I guess, just, I guess far more than the videos. I think people like the videos, but let's face it. I think everyone could agree streaming is so much more engaging, so much more fun, I guess that's the way to put it, that kind of incentivized me to do more streaming. And we're going to continue that. I don't know how much we're going to stream this year because if this was chaotic... What's going to happen next year? <laughs> like, what, if it's like double the streams, that's eight times a week. Oh, that's not, I don't want to go down that route, but either way. We're going to be streaming uh, like we have. In fact, maybe more. And I just think it is a net positive. I think it's engaging for you guys. I like doing it, especially with Tyrone, Mr. Yeet, Mr. Ye, James, the whole crew. And we're going to do more of it because this year, you know, what's going to happen and it's time we segue into 2024. You know, I'm not going to do more gloom and say this is the last stand or whatever, but I, I, I kind of have to say that if you care about this Republic and care about what are the 240 odd years of this country, this is the most important election we've ever had. And I know they say this every four years, but this is legitimately the most important. I don't care if you're a independent Democrat, Republican, whatever. Trump has to win next year. You know, you could say what you will about him. If he loses, we're done. Because at that point in time, you're giving the green light to the establishment, to the deep state, whatever you want to call these people, that you're... Your your voice doesn't matter to them. You that oh yeah it doesn't matter what the peasants think we can just kick them off the ballot we can throw them in jail. Listen, this is the most important election of our lives, and I like covering this stuff, but I'm just a bit worried that th this this is gonna possibly get very ugly. Like this could get very bad for this country, but. I, that's kind of the doom and gloom part, but it's just kind of reality that next year, in my opinion, is a must win. If you want to s save the country, it's really your last shot. I mean, where do you go if Trump loses? I don't even want to think about that. But for as for what's going to happen next year, you can, of course, can expect the monthly predictions, which I forgot to mention, I completely revamped it. And I've been basically perfect on every single prediction this year, all right? And for hell, I've been basically on par with all the margins. So this year has been virtually perfection in every single prediction I had this year. The Wisconsin Supreme Court is kind of the outlier, but even then, I still had it Kelly losing by four or five, which was in line with most people's predictions. But I, I really learned from last year that you should go into elections and all that stuff with lower expectations. Not like, oh, there's no chance of winning, but like with the sense of there's a good shot you're not going to win. And if you don't win, it doesn't sting that much. You know, it's just like, oh, we lost, but it's not the end of the world like it was in 2022. But even then when I do that, you know, I it's not that's not the only reason. Plus, I've been using probability predictions, you know. Moving away from predicting margins, because that's just... We know now that's a mess. You can't do that now. You can predict based on what's percent chance of Trump winning, say, Wisconsin. And I've had much more success with it. And I think I'm more confident with it. Because it's much easier to predict probability or more realistic. Because when you get the margins, 
He, all it takes is one RFK type to screw everything up. And that's what's going to happen next year. So, next year is going to be a very chaotic year. And I'm going to enjoy every second of it. So many primary streams, so many election nights. Basically every, Monday through Friday probably, every day streams. Which I love doing. I am having so much fun this year. And I'm hoping to have more fun next year. Now, before I leave this year in review, again, just thank you so much. The growth on this channel, and I'm not going to get the numbers exactly because that's, you know, I'm not going to brag about it or whatever, but I don't want to be like that. I don't want to be like, oh, this is what I did this year. But if we continue the growth, something could really, really special happen next year. And I'm not saying 100% is going to happen, but... Look up with Red Eagle's channel. What happened in 2020. And that was with... Basically like a five month head start. From 2020. It was like 2019 I think. It's in the back of my mind that... There's something special here. That... I gotta continue going forward with. <laughs> you know? And I love it. But it's like... Something could really be special about this channel. And I just... Hope that... You guys still enjoy the content. You guys are still having fun and, you know, just enjoying it. Because this is going to be a very fun road ahead. So thank you all so much. Again, I don't know what to see. I don't know what's going to happen next year. This channel has a something special might happen here. And I'm hoping that we have a, another, I would say, successful year. I guess that's not the way to put it, but we just got to see what happens. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you guys in 2024. Godspeed to all of you.